Good morning, happy new week. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful because in you we have a Father. We want to thank you for your love for us. We thank you because you are committed to us. We want to thank you because we are in a covenant relationship with you. We want to thank you for the blood of Jesus that has given us the assurance of sonship in you. Blessed be your name. Lord, anoint us to pray in line with your will on this broadcast this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So welcome to start your week with Jesus. It's our week of laughter. And it's my prayer that this week the Lord will make you laugh so everything that will bring laughter your way the Lord will deposit into your lives uh, into our lives even this week in Jesus name amen okay so it's a week of laughter what is laughter to laugh is to express joy so it's that emotion of expression of mirth gladness merriment you know joyfulness you know so may we see that in, in a proportion that we've never seen before merriment uh, you know joy rejoicing gladness happiness excitement even this week in jesus name one thing about god is this he laughs our god laughs so laughter is associated with good things may you know good things and pleasurable things this week genesis 17 17 then abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old and shall sarah that is 19 years old bear that is bring forth children so he laughed because it, it appeared ridiculous. May, may, may God visit you and bring laughter your way so that everyone that hears will laugh with you as it happened for Sarah. Genesis 21, 6. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. God will bring laughter your way and that laughter will cause others around you to laugh as well in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, Job's, uh, the book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Meaning, you will not be affected by destruction, you will not be affected by the famine. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Okay, Psalm 2 and verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. So he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Meaning, our God laughs. Amen. And he will make you laugh. Psalm 126 from verse 1 to 3. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. It was like, this can be real. Then was our mouth filled with laughter because of what God did. And our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. This week, the Lord will do great things in our lives that will bring laughter our way. And that laughter will be enduring. It will not just be temporary in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to pray. Can we appreciate the Lord because we have a Father in our God. We have a Father in our rock. Lord, we want to thank you because to us you are Father. To us you are our rock. To us you are our shield. To us you are our light. To us you are our life. To us you are our glory. To us you are our defense. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Can we give thanks unto the Lord because we're in a covenant relationship with him and he has adopted us into sonship. Lord, we thank you for our adoption into sonship. We thank you for the spirit of adoption by which you cry Habba Father glory be to your name in the name of Jesus can we give thanks unto the Lord for the gift of the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth the spirit of might the spirit of counsel Lord thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit your Holy Spirit the spirit of truth the spirit of might and counsel I want to thank you because by the Holy Ghost we have been sealed against the day of redemption we exalt your name because you've given to us the earnest of your spirit blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus can we appreciate the Lord for his goodness that we continually enjoy day in day out week in week out month in month out father we thank you for the sum total of your goodness that we continually enjoy as we rise up as we lie down as we go out as we come in your goodness garnishes our lives we return the praise and the glory and the honor to your name for you are a good god thank you lord in the name of jesus can we appreciate the lord for the heritage that we have in his word lord we want to thank you for the heritage that we have in your word we want to thank you for our 
our inheritance in your word. We are children of inheritance. We give you praise and glory and honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe the Lord that this week your inheritance speaks concerning you. Your inheritance speaks. Lord, this week my inheritance speaks concerning me. Our inheritance speaks concerning us. Even this week in the name of Jesus. Our inheritance is joy. Our inheritance is peace. Our inheritance is righteousness. Our inheritance is flourishing. Lord, our inheritance speaks even this week in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Decree fruitfulness concerning your life even this week. Fruitfulness concerning your plans, your endeavors, and all that you'll be doing this week. I decree fruitfulness this week. Fruitfulness over my plans. Fruitfulness concerning my endeavors as I transact my businesses and things that I need to do this week. I claim fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Come against drought. Come against emptiness even this week. We reject drought. We reject emptiness this week. I reject drought. I reject emptiness this week. My land is full of your blessing, of your fullness, of your joy in the name of Jesus. The word says, and thou laughter lies satisfied with favor, be filled with the blessing of the Lord, possess the west, possess the east in the name of Jesus. So Lord God, I'm filled with your blessing. I'm satisfied with your favor. I possess the west, I possess the east as it is written in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray that there shall be no lack concerning you this week, no lack in your borders, no lack in your habitations in the name of Jesus. This week we banish lack from our borders. We banish lack from our habitations. We receive the supply of the Spirit of the Lord even this week in the name of Jesus. We receive supply unto supernatural provision even this week in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you Father. Believe the Lord that your land will bring forth bountifully this week unto laughter. Lord let my land bring forth bountifully this week unto laughter in the name of Jesus. No land is barren. We decree the blessing of the Lord upon the lands that our lives represent in the name of Jesus. Believe the Lord that your bands will overflow even this week. Let there be overflowing bands unto laughter even this week in the name of Jesus. Overflowing bands unto laughter in the name of Jesus. The Bible talks about the joy of harvest. When there is harvest, there's joy. There's laughter. There's rejoicing. Decree your harvest at this time. Decree your harvest at this time. I decree harvest. Spiritual harvest. I decree harvest. Physical harvest. Mental harvest. Emotional harvest. Material harvest. Financial harvest. For everyone praying on the broadcast at this time, let there be harvest this week unto joy, unto merriment, unto laughter, unto rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Let there be laughter to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, I will visit Sarah and she will have a child and he visited and there was laughter. Believe a lot for divine visitations even this week and for the rest of this year for you and yours. Let there be divine visitations this week and for the rest of this year for me, for mine, for all our, for us praying on the broadcast at this time. Divine visitations by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Sarah said, God had made me to laugh and all that here will laugh with me. Pray that the Lord will make you to laugh even this week and beyond. Lord, make us to laugh. You are the God of laughter. He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. Lord, make us to laugh in the name of Jesus. That which makes for laughter. We ask you, O God, to deliver unto us occasions of laughter. Lord, manifestations of laughter. Lord, deliver them unto us even this week and beyond. In the name of Jesus, let there be laughter. Let it be real. Let it be enduring. Let it be infectious. Let it spread round about us. In the name of Jesus Christ, banish sorrow. Banish bitterness. Banish weeping from our borders. We banish sorrow. Lord, we banish bitterness. We banish weeping. Lord, from our borders, in the name of Jesus, there shall be no sorrow, no, no evil report, no shame, no reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ, believe a lot for good news this week. Believe a lot for good news. When there is good news, there is laughter. Let there be good news this week. In the name of Jesus, in families, in households, in businesses, in marriages, in academic prospects, in things that we lay hands upon, in our respective ministries. Let there be good news, oh God. Let there be good news, oh God. Unto laughter to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus. Believe a lot that things that, that had failed to walk will fall in line this week. Everything that has failed to walk, everything that has been outside 
the purpose and the agenda of God. We call you in, in the name of Jesus, and we command you to begin to walk again, to begin to walk again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Believe the Lord that the resurrection part of Christ will, will, will deliver its fullness unto you even this week in the name of Jesus. Let the resurrection part of Christ deliver in its fullness, deliver in its richness unto us all on the broadcast even this week in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People that have been going round in circles will decree progress unto such people. Everyone going round in circles will decree progress in the name of Jesus. Believe the Lord for every yoke to be destroyed by reason of the anointing of the Spirit of the Lord. Even this week, let every yoke, every yoke be destroyed. Every yoke of stagnation, every yoke of oppression destroyed. Every yoke of limitation destroyed. Every barrier we command broken and we claim laughter, resounding laughter to the glory and the honor of the Most High God. Thank you because we shall laugh and those that hear will laugh with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hold on to God's word. You will laugh this week. See you again next Monday. Till then, keep praying. Bye-bye.